This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Dear students, in any physical phenomena governed by different forces, uh, we have different forces and we have different quantities also, isn't it? Uh, the quantities which may change with the time while some special quantities remain constant with the time. The physical quantities that remain unchanged with the time are called as conserved quantities. Okay, The quantities with uh, remain unchanged with the time are called as conserved quantities. They remain constant whatever okay, they does not change with respect to time. In other words, conservation of some physical quantity means that the quantity does not change with time. And as I mentioned here, we can see the laws of conservation of energy, the law of conservation of charge, the law of conservation of linear momentum and the law of conservation of angular momentum are considered as fundamental laws of physics. So in this part, we are going to study the nature of these four physical laws. And these four are the fundamental laws of physics. Means uh, many other laws are depending on these fundamental laws. Okay. So now let us study what these uh, four fundamental laws says. So the first one is law of conservation of energy. This law of conservation of energy says that the amount of total energy in the universe remains constant. Isn't it? Energy neither can be created nor be destroyed. It can just be converted from one part or from one form to the other. So the overall summary of this law is energy in the universe is constant. Energy need to be created nor be destroyed. Uh, we can take an example of this water in the ocean. So when that water in the liquid form uh, due to the temperature it will get evaporated. Isn't it? Again that evaporated will water the vapors will form the cloud. Again it will fall as a rain. Again the same procedure repeats. There the energy is converted from one form to the another but it is not destroyed, isn't it? We can convert electric energy to the heat energy, heat energy to the electric energy. In case of motors, right, that uh, heat energy is uh, like uh, convert, converted into a mechanical energy, isn't it? Uh, many other things uh, in the production of current uh, electricity that uh, the kinetic energy of the water is converted into an electrical energy isn't it in all these cases energy is uh, just converted from one form to the other but it is not destroyed and even it is not created so in the whole universe the energy is constant This is the law of conservation of energy and the law of conservation of charge during any process taking place in an electrically isolated system the algebraic sum of charges always remains constant. So whatever may be the process in a system if I consider any process uh, in a system before the process If I take this algebraic sum of the 
charges and after the process if i take the algebraic sum of the charges it will be constant okay so the if i okay it means in an any electrically isolated system the the charge the algebraic sum of the electric charges remains constant again those charges cannot be destroyed so in any of the system so this is a law of conservation of charge and the third one is the law of conservation of linear momentum so if the resultant external force on a system is zero the total linear momentum of the system remains constant so if the resultant external force is zero in in that case the total linear momentum of the system remains constant and in other ways if the force acted on a system is equal to the uh, force uh, that equal to the opposite force that is acted on the system then the if i take the summation of that two forces again it will be zero which means the external force acted on the system is zero in that case also the total linear momentum of the system remains constant so this kind of a, i can give you a simple example like rifle so whenever we show uh, whenever we shot a bullet will come out of this rifle isn't it so the rifle will move forward at that time and suddenly when this bullet comes out of this rifle uh, the coil of this rifle it immediately rotates back so this forward force and this reverse force will cancel each other isn't it again the total external force on the system will be zero and hence the total linear momentum of the system will be constant so linear momentum is a product of mass as well as acceleration of the body and this is the uh, law of conservation of linear momentum as i said linear momentum in case of angular momentum the same law holds good angular momentum is nothing but a rotational momentum if the resultant external torque acting on a system is zero the total angular momentum of the system remains constant okay that uh, rotational force okay is uh, if that acting on the system is zero external torque uh, if it is zero then again the total angular momentum of the system remains constant so here i can uh, give you a example of uh, ballet dancer you all know this isn't it so whenever she rotates so whenever she rotate she will uh, spin very fastly right and she will not lose her balance at all how is that possible see whenever she rotates she will uh, shorten her arms and she will uh, control her legs also so at that time she is controlling the inertia of motion so she is uh, so that the external torque acting on her body will be zero at that time the angular momentum of the system remains constant so these four are the four fundamental or the physical laws of the uh, physics that are very important so in future you will study these laws in detail just now you have just uh understood what are this laws and uh, how many laws are there and what is their nature uh, briefly so again in future you are going to see all these laws in detail so in addition to these four laws we have laws of conservation for spin hyperchange etc in nuclear and particle physics we have all these other losses also so this 
is all about the first chapter so in this chapter from the first we studied the concept of physics what is this physics from where we got this word physics and also we studied about uh, the various uh, the scope excitement of physics isn't it and how the development in physics is uh, affecting the society in a positive way and we studied four fundamental laws of physics gravitational force strong nuclear force weak nuclear force electromagnetic force isn't it and now at the end we also studied about the nature of physical laws that is law of conservation of energy law of conservation of uh, electro you know charges law of conservation of linear momentum and the law of conservation of angular momentum so in the next chapter we are going to deal with uh, all these concepts uh, in detail